Ted Bundy, born Theodore Robert Bundy on November 24, 1946, was an American serial killer and one of the most infamous criminals in history. He was responsible for the murders of numerous young women during the 1970s. Bundy was known for his charm, intelligence, and ability to manipulate his victims, which allowed him to elude capture for an extended period. Early Life and Troubled Childhood Ted Bundy was born in Burlington, Vermont, to Eleanor Louise Cowell, who was unmarried at the time. Bundy's early years were marked by confusion about his parentage as his grandparents raised him as their son and concealed the truth about his birth mother. Despite having a seemingly normal childhood, Bundy exhibited some troubling behaviors, such as a fascination with knives and an interest in violent images. He also faced difficulties with social interactions and struggled with feelings of inadequacy. College Years and Beginning of Crimes In the early 1970s, Bundy attended the University of Washington and became involved in politics and student activities. He was an excellent student and was highly regarded by his peers and professors. However, during this time, he began to display disturbing behavior. Between 1974 and 1975, Bundy began his violent killing spree. He would often approach young women, feigning an injury or pretending to be in distress to lure them into his vehicle. Once in his control, he would overpower and assault them, often killing them brutally. The exact number of his victims remains unknown, but estimates range from 30 to over 100. Arrest and Trials In August 1975, Bundy was arrested in Utah for suspicion of burglary, and a search of his vehicle revealed burglary tools and suspicious objects. Police connected him to a series of murders in various states, and as evidence piled up, he was linked to the brutal killings. Bundy faced several trials in different states, where he defended himself, showcasing his legal acumen. He used his charm to manipulate courtroom proceedings and often cross-examined witnesses with skill. In 1979, Bundy was convicted for the murders of two women in Florida and received the death penalty. Escape and Recapture Despite being convicted and sentenced to death in Florida, Bundy managed to escape from custody twice. The first escape occurred in June 1977 when he jumped out of a courthouse window in Colorado during a preliminary hearing. He remained on the run for six days before being recaptured. In December 1977, Bundy escaped from a Colorado prison by cutting a hole in the ceiling of his cell and crawling through the air ducts. During this escape, he made his way to Florida, where he continued his killing spree. Final Capture and Execution Bundy's final arrest occurred in February 1978 when he was pulled over by the police in Florida. Officers discovered burglary tools in his car, and they connected him to the murders in the state. During the trial for the Florida murders, Bundy attracted media attention, and his charm and charisma continued to captivate the public. In January 1989, Bundy was executed in the electric chair at the Florida State Prison in Stark, Florida. Before his execution, he confessed to over 30 murders, although the exact number remains uncertain. Legacy and Impact Ted Bundy's crimes and the way he used his charm to deceive and prey on young women continue to captivate the public's imagination. His case has been extensively studied by criminal psychologists and his modus operandi has been analyzed in numerous documentaries and books. Bundy's story serves as a chilling reminder of the potential for evil that exists in seemingly ordinary individuals and the importance of recognizing and addressing dangerous behaviors early on. His notoriety has also influenced discussions around criminal profiling and the importance of investigating and apprehending serial killers before they can cause further harm.